I quite like Tom Harwood. I like his earnestness and I like his um, rather uh, well rehearsed questions. But his meeting with Jacob Rees-Mogg the other day and the video which he's put up about that is at its most absurd. The Jacob Rees-Mogg retained EU law bill is nonsensical. I simply don't see how it can possibly survive. First of all, without Rees-Mogg at the helm, because of course he resigned in a huff once Liz Truss resigned. But secondly, because 4,000 pieces of EU law need to be examined, uh, repealed, and then reinstated in a British form. Well, you know, it's just... It's just bureaucracy for the sake of bureaucracy. And there's every possibility that in taking a law out that's made with this hand and making it with that hand, we're going to get something dramatically wrong. It's not a key divergence from Europe. The problem is, instead of removing Brussels as the source of these laws, we're simply going to be transferring that power to Whitehall. That's not democratic. That's... Um, taking, uh, taking these laws out of the uh, control of one bureau bureaucratic nonsense and giving it to another bureaucratic nonsense, which is already overworked. Um, at the moment, rees -Mogg says that the Lords are obstructing the passage of this bill. Well, you know, there's 1,400 laws dug out of the National Archives. There's 2,400 laws currently in use. But all of them need to be properly scrutinised. All of them need to be um, updated if necessary. And those that aren't in use need to be shelved in a coherent way so that should they suddenly find purpose, they can be um, repurposed and, uh, and, and put back on the statute books without any trouble. Um, the point that he makes that uh, these laws were passed into uh, European legislation and therefore through British legislation uh, under the EU Act in 1972 without proper parliamentary scrutiny is in part true. But they did have democratic scrutiny through the European Court of Hum uh, through the European Parliament. And should they, should they simply be transferred to Whitehall, there would be no scrutiny. This is democracy uh, undermined by bureaucracy and it is a shameful display of um, sleight of hand. rees -Mogg as the absent magician. And of course, Tom Harwood as the little rabbit popping out of the hat. Well, you know, um, the... <laughs> The debate, the the interview, I don't know who was interviewing whom, actually. I mean, it looked more at times as if Rees Mogg was interviewing Harwood. But um, that interview is worth, is worth watching. But the content, the content is not worth heeding. The content and the retained EU law bill simply needs to be dumped. The present government has got far more on its plate them messing around, doling out more, more bureaucracy to an overworked Whitehall. That overworked Whitehall, if people, um, if people need more work to do, they need to join the Home Office and sort out the mess that um, Suella Braverman, Priti Patel and Theresa May have created.